Um, OK, so let's look at uh, another very common scenario in Java is that you have a function or method that takes an instance of an interface as an argument. Um, and we don't really do interfaces, and we don't really do classes in Clojure. There's kind of, it's kind of frowned upon. But what is very common is that you want to be able to interact with one of these methods. So there's a very helpful uh, macro called reify, which allows you to implement an interface uh, or yeah, imp implement a, an interface and sort of instantiate a new class that implements that interface directly in the code. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to call the thread set default uncaught exception handler function, which takes, uh, let's see, okay, maybe, no, I can't look at that yet, but I can do this. Maybe scroll up a bit, I guess. Um, so this, this, uh, this method is a static method on thread, and it will configure the current thread to have uh, a, a different exception handler. And the way I would want to supply an exception handler is in the form of an uncaught exception handler, which is an interface that has a single method on it called uncaught exception. It takes a thread and a throwable, so that's the exception, and the thread that where the, where the exception occurred. Now, this is actually a nested class. So the uncaught exception handler interface is actually nested below the thread class itself. So, so I, I actually want the you know, thread dot uncaught exception handler. And the way um, Java compiles that, when it compiles those classes, the name of that class actually becomes thread uh, dollar sign uncaught exception handler. So that's just the name of the interface. And I want to reify that. I want to create an instance of that interface. And as you remember, the, the, it has a single method called uncaught exception handler. I'm going to misspell this. Uh, and it will take a this argument, right? There's always an implicit this because it's a method argument. It took a thread uh, and a throwable. And what I want to do is that if I get any of this, I'm just going to print it. Actually, it's probably a message on this, right? I can get the message. So we get the message on the throwable, and we print it. And this will not work because I haven't redefined the namespace. This will. Still not work because I misspelled the method name, but we can deal with that. In where? Here? It should be big there, but the method name is not, I think. Let's find out. No, this is right. Because so the, the the interface name is called uncaught oh, exception, right. but the, the method is always called like lower camel case. Uh, so this creates a new instance of, of a, a sort of an anonymous class that implements that interface and assigns it to uh, the uncaught exception handler as an argument. Um, I guess if I throw something here, it will just print, we'll, we'll which might not be the best thing. Maybe it's the normal exception. Yeah, so it's printing that <laughs> instead of. <laughs> That's annoying. OK. Uh, maybe not the best thing to do, so I'm just going to restore this. I'm, I'm going to call nil on this, like that, and get back to normal. Now, um, reify will only allow you to implement methods on an interface. And uh, in a bunch of places in Java, what you do is that you instead sort of are expected to subclass an abstract class. Uh, and you can do that as well, but you can't add any members to it. You can't add, add any fields to it. You can only implement 
overrides the methods. And the way you do that is with something called proxy, which is more powerful, but also a bit more tricky. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit slower to use, because it sort of relies on a bit of, I think it does a bit of reflection inside or something like that. So reify is the preferred thing. If you have an interface, you should always use reify. You can use proxy on an interface, uh, but, but it, you don't really need to, and it's not as performant. So, but one thing is, you know, I might want to have a, like a key adapter, um, which is a, sort of a a very simple class that uh, essentially just overrides an interface and implements empty methods for them. So I can. So just I, I don't have to specify every single method for the interface. It just implements key listener and just sort of provides empty implementations for, for that. So I can use them. But it, uh, in here, I want to just implement the overrides for the key pressed method. And the difference here between the between proxy and reify is that in, in reify you get an, the, the this argument as part of the of the method call like this. In proxy you don't, but there's still sort of a, an implicit this you can use inside this method. Um, so there is key pressed. This is available, um, but But it's hidden. So that's how I would uh, override a function or a method on a, on a class. So this can be an abstract class. That's the difference between proxy and, and, and reify. Uh, now, you might be thinking like, OK, so how can I, how would I do something if I, if I needed fields, if I needed some state with my instance of an interface? How would I, where, where would that go? Because I can't, I can't add fields to an interface, and I can't add fields to the proxy that, that I'm generating. And the, the, the common thing that you would do in that case is you would have a, a function that would make something, uh, and take a bunch of arguments maybe, and then you just put let bindings in, in here for whatever you needed. So you would maybe have an array list here, uh, maybe, if you needed one. Sure. And then you would return or reify something that would make use of that array list in, inside the, the function. I don't know what, what's on my array list. Get count maybe. Oh yeah, class I guess. Uh, so that way you can have that that's how you would sort of implement fields on on, on, on if you wanted the state for something, so this 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 function now creates uh, it, it creates a, an array list for this particular instance because it's just going to return that instance, right? So it's, so it's unique to that instance, and then um, it can do stuff with that inside the, the the method calls on that interface. That's sort of how you would get around that particular problem. Uh, yeah. So any questions so far with the Java interrupt stuff? No. Yeah? 